that when someone wears a t-shirt, they're literally a walking billboard for whatever on their shirt. They better be super passionate about what... Got to turn that off. All right, hello everybody. My name is Sean. This is going to be my drawing channel. Draw along. Thank you for coming to visit. Uh, I really just wanted to get this out there. Something fun that I've always wanted to do. I really like drawing. I've always been into it, but I kind of haven't done it in a long time. So it's going to be me getting back into the flow of it and hopefully, um, hopefully getting a little bit better at it. Hopefully showing you what I do. Um, oh, dog's moving around the background. Um, showing you how I draw. Maybe it can help you in learning how you can draw too. Um, that's about it. Uh, it is very much a skill that you have to continually practice to be good at. So um, I'm going to get back into it. I can, <laughs> I'm can. i going to get back to it uh, in kind of a funny way. In the third grade, which was quite a while ago, uh, our teacher wheeled in on the TV that's on the cart kind of thing and turned, put a, a drawing video on. And this was our, our, you know, getting, learning how to draw. Whoops. Um, you know, lesson class. I don't know. Um, and it was, I think it was, I think his name was Commander Mark. Commander Mark. And it went, oh, yeah. And he had this thumbs up type thing. Uh, the first thing I remember drawing from his you know, video lesson was a hot dog stand. So <laughs> that's what we're going to draw. We're going to draw a hot dog stand. Are there actually hot dog stands? There's like hot dog carts, I guess, but not hot dog stands. So just regular mechanical pencil, 7.7 millimeter. Um, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do anything fancy on this. I'm not going to use a tablet. I'm not going to use any really expensive materials or tools um, to do my drawings. Just going to do a drawing sketch pad. I think the sketch pad was from like Target or something. Same with the pencils on a school special. So let's get to drawing. Um, I'm not really going to run through like the principles of art and drawing. Uh, we'll probably do that in a later lessons do like you know contrast perspective um you know uh what is it, positive and negative space type stuff um we'll do that later on i think right now we're just gonna kind of get back into the groove of it um flush out our uh, style back again you know uh don't don't take what i'm doing too seriously you know make sure that you are really comfortable doing what you like to do when you draw um, obviously I don't care much for straight lines, um, kind of a more cartoony children's book kind of style. So, um, that's how I draw. And if you want to draw like that, that's cool. You know, take what you can off of what I'm doing and be sure to, um, explore your own options of how you would like your stuff to turn out. So let's see here, kind of do the roof line, draw the roof. Give kind of the illusion of shingles there. Um, throw some more kind of just a little bit of a texture type thing. I'm just going to put a ball up here. Maybe that's kind of like at the point of there. Um, yeah, and I kind of really remember this hot dog stand just kind of being the building. And I'm sure he was talking about how to make a box. You know, let's make this counter a little bit more inside. A little window. Probably should draw a door on there. I don't know how they would get in. I guess they'd get in on the back side. So, a little vent up top. Oops. Not worry too much if I make some mistakes. We can edit it later. <laughs> edit it. I've been on the computer too much. So, I can erase it and fix it later, um, which is totally fine. I'm not worried about if it's good or if it's bad. We're just getting it on the paper. That's kind of the most important thing in getting back into drawing. It's just doing it. Not worrying or stressing out what it's going to look like. I don't even have an eraser. There it is, right over there. Okay, good. Um, not worrying too much about what it looks like. I'm just getting it done. Just in that line. No, I, always, I just do shadows in there. So. Kind of all over the place. I don't really kind of finish one section before moving to the next. I'm always kind of just moving around. 
maybe let's see on here they got some napkins you need napkins for your hot dogs in case they get messy we used to have a hot dog place right next to where i work and the people that ran it actually decided that they were going to do something else and they were good hot dogs it was pretty interesting to see the, all the different kinds um, that they'd come up my favorite one was a slaw on ya and it was a hot dog it's like a polish sausage kind of hot dog and it had barbecue sauce and um coleslaw and like fried onions or something like that super good but they're not doing that anymore and it's too bad so let's just make a kind of a shelves in the background you know it's got some maybe some cups and different a let's put a bag of the buns back here yeah um so they're kind of somewhere. you know what else we should probably put a little little smokestack pipe so their grill comes out what their smoke off the grill comes out just like that all right you know what else we need we need a sign so we know what we're going to order. Whoop. Hot dog sign. Oops, it broke again. It's kind of falling out of here pretty quick, so that's why it's getting too long and breaking. So this is obviously the first one, so stick with me. I'll figure out a better way to, you know, point the camera and get my lights. Um just so you see better i know that i'm going to be putting my hand in the way too much and i apologize for that right now but we'll figure out a better way to set this up let's put like a let's put like a, a cut out of a dog on top he's wearing a hot dog bun There we go. All right. There's our hot dog stand. So typically what I do when I finish things up is I put a little little line around them, make them stand out. I think I remember it was kind of like supposed to be in a park. So we put it along a park wall. And there was like bushes behind it, stuff like that. Maybe a tree coming up. This is really kind of not, not what I would make a tree look like, but we're just doing it. Um, we're just kind of flowing, getting out of here. Oh, that looks terrible. Sorry. More bushes. So, and we kind of, maybe it's like a rock wall, or, or I guess if it was brick, I would be like, more like that. That'd be cool. But anyway, so I put some lines around it, make it stand out a little bit more. Um, I got the corner there like to just bring the lines in maybe the, you know it's got a brick there or not brick but it's like wood siding on it put some more wood siding here you know what they need they probably need a trash can trash can right here so when the people are all done they can throw their throw their paper away oh what's the matter buddy you go outside well let me finish this up and then i'll take my puppy outside the line goes out there. Let's just kind of. Oops, that was way off. Not paying attention to where my line is. So let's do that. And let's move. Just kind of erase most of that so I can come back. Fix it later. But there, he's got his hot dog costume on. Well, I give him a little bit of a thicker outline. This pencil is kind of funky. I'm going to have to find some better pencils. These ones aren't too bad, but it's a little too, too thick. Which is good for some parts of it. If I'm doing the outlines, it's good. But when I'm trying to get in the little details, it's getting a little bit harder to do. So, there we go. Finished-ish. Kind of finished. Drawing right there. Of a hot dog stand. Let's do that back line. There we go. Cool. So, guys, please stick around. I'll do a bunch more. 
kind of quick little drawings, and then we'll get into kind of the lessons of it. I'm not too sure how this is going to work out, but we're going to give it a try. Thanks for watching.